Hello and welcome to Off The Beaten Pot, bringing great food back to the great outdoors. My name is Tom and today we are going to take a look at the long awaited and much anticipated Tranja Micro. And I'm so excited. So to mark the latest offering from the good people at Tranja and to mark the start of my favourite season, autumn, well we're a little into autumn now, I decided to go for a really hearty, healthy, lovely, tasty, simple to eat, classic Swedish, Finnish hash dish. -ish. It's called, it's called Pitti Panna. I'm sure I've not pronounced that right and you will correct me if I'm wrong. I correct you and you are wrong. Uh, usually it was made using leftovers from the night before. I've adapted a version so that we can use fresher ingredients and I've made it specifically to go into the Tranja Micro, including the fried egg, which I'm very proud about. And it can go in pretty much any cook set that you might own. So this, this is an overall absolute banger of a recipe that is going to keep on giving. I'm going to really look forward to seeing your variations. So I'm going to waffle for just a little bit longer and then we're going to go into the video. If you'd like to just miss the waffle, go here. For those of you who are interested in my free e-cookbook, there's a link below to that and you're welcome to it. Let me know what you think. Um, this recipe is so amazing, so good. And I'm so pleased with it that I'm going to put it into a blog I'm writing for Camp Wild. Those guys are incredible. This video won't be about them, but again, if you'd like to check them out and what they're up to, please look at the link below. And then at the end, once we've gone through the process and the recipe, I'm going to talk about what I like about the stove, what I love about this stove, what I really love about this stove, and some of the potential drawbacks and downsides of this stove. So before we get cooking, we need to go and get the ingredients. So the first thing we are going to do is to get the tranger going and make sure it's on. Place the pot over the flame and give it a healthy glug of olive oil. Then we're going to crack our fresh egg into the olive oil and fry it to our liking. When it's ready, we're going to place it into the upside down lid and place it to one side. We're going to cut up all of our ingredients into roughly one centimeter cubes except for the potato which is going to be cut uh, into smaller cubes or thin matchstick like strips. Now we're just going to stir and stir and stir. You can regulate the heat um, by putting the simmering onto the flame or every now and again by lifting the pot off of the heat. And then you're basically going to keep cooking, keep stirring until the potato is cooked. Then you're going to place the egg on top of the whole mix and tuck in. So an incredibly tasty meal, that one. Like really, really good, all, all seasons. But certainly in the autumn, it really sort of just um, brings a bit of warmth to the curiously cool night air we're having. Anyway, some of the pros. One, I love it. I love the size and the form of it. It's really nice, fits in your backpack or in your pocket really well. It's 500 mil, which is perfect amount for cooking solo cooking and eating well you can eat well with this it has markers of um, what level you're at not half liter is there so you get a little bit at the top to allow for bubbling but it really does allow for you know a good meal for one um, i also like how it as per the trenja mini it clicks in nicely it grabs on with that little little indent or out dent in the pot. So that just adds a little bit of security when you're cooking, which is really nice. 
and it all packs down into this lovely little form so you can have your burner your pot stand and wind guard um, the pot itself there's enough space in there for a lighter um, a scourer a dishcloth and a few other odds and sods and then it all clips over like that the lid clicks on the handle clicks onto the lid it doesn't keep it fully closed but it does have a nice click Obviously the quality from Tranja, they can't afford to put anything crap out really, can they? And they haven't done for decades, so I don't know why they'd start now. Um, the quality is amazing. Uh, they know what they're doing, don't they? So, yep, I'd be surprised if it wasn't good. Uh, I like the robustness of this handle. The Tranja Mini, I like the handle because it's quite innovative how it's just a flat bit that goes underneath the roll of the pot. Um, but if you're cooking with heavier amounts, it can get a little bit a little bit hello <laughs> I don't know what I mean it's a it can feel like it's not all that substantial even though I've never had a problem with it whereas this is a solid handle it's not going nowhere and I've paired it with this lovely little uh, woolen cover and why I like this is that it allows you just a bit more purchase so you can put your thumb and your fingers in the middle and it just makes it a bit more solid and it looks so nice so what do I what are the, some of the drawbacks in this stove well it, this first one is probably the biggest one for me but it all comes down to how you like to cook and i would say that there's no frying pan i love that about the mini if that could be a frying pan or, or if they made a frying pan that slotted over the top with its own handle or that you could use with a, um, a pot gripper i can see why they didn't because i think this is basically an analog version of a jet boil isn't it this is for people who want to slow down a bit and just cook simply and that's fine, but I like a frying pan, so I'm on the hunt for a frying pan that just slots over the top. If you see one, let me know. But again, there are workarounds to this. Um, I managed to pull off a fried egg in here without a problem, and it didn't hinder the meal whatsoever. You could also say that I used an enamel plate, so why didn't I fry the egg on that, which I could do, and I could just pack um, the frying pan I already have, but I like it to flip and flap all over each other, and I like it to be contained. Another downside, and again, it's not that much, and this is a bit of a reach, is this lid doesn't click. I like the Tranja lid, one, because it's a frying pan, two, because it really clicks into place. This closes fine enough, but it, that's not then secure. That's, that just sort of clips the handle to the lid, which is nice. And again, nothing that can't be sorted with a strap, a belt, or a ranger band. Another drawback is... The pot stand itself, it's the same one as the Tranja Mini and it serves its purpose. It's quite good how you can get the, you can use the standard burner or you can use the gel burner. But um, if there's any sort of wind, it can flare up quite a lot. So you're going to need an external windshield. Um, again, nothing that can't be negated by a nice nook or a well-placed rock or your backpack at a push. Um, but it'd just be nice to know that that's all you needed. Um, it's not, uh, not a massive deal breaker for, for me. I usually take a, um, a windbreak out with me anyway um, but it would have been nice to see maybe a bit of innovation in that and that again is a reach I think overall this is a wonderful pot and cook, sy cook system it fits into itself it's incredibly lightweight it looks really nice I mean ultimately it's just a pot isn't it but it just looks really nice especially in red you can get it in black but I like the red and yeah it's just a really nice beautifully small item from Tranja, robustly made, and for going out for cooking for one person and cooking well for one person, I think it's incredibly, incredibly good purchase for you and, and uh, amazing for the, your cooking arsenal. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Let me know what variations on the recipe you did. Let me know in the comments if you know of something that's going to fit over there that's beautiful albeit small frying pan and yep check out the links below for camp wild and for my free e-cookbook and i will see you in another episode of off the beaten pot cheers and gone